Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are bearing it all with the new Pure Cosmetics Bear It All Foundation. I wanted to try it out on camera for you guys and do like a first impression and review. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be getting into today. They do have two really cool looking brushes that they came out with too. So yeah, if you guys wanna see me try out this foundation and get some specs on it, then just keep watching. So this is the foundation. <laughs> There's so many. Okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then the actual packaging. It looks like this. So it's in a squeezy tube. There's no pump, but I do love squeezy tube foundations just as much as I love a pump foundation. All right. So this foundation runs for $28. No, not $28. Hello, girl. Get your life together. So this foundation runs for $39. And it is a 12-hour, 4-in-1 skin perfecting foundation. It's supposed to conceal, perfect, perform and energize. It's vegan friendly, cruelty free, and paraben free for those of you that are concerned about those issues. And it's also cruelty free as well. So some of the key ingredients in it is that it has an energy complex, serotonin complex, and blue agave. Ooh, I love agave. So the energy complex in it is a combination of green tea, ginseng, and B vitamins, which is going to help stimulate the metabolic renewal process of the skin. Ooh, that was long to say. <laughs> and then the serotonin complex is supposed to help smooth firm and lift the skin's appearance for an ageless complexion and then the agave is supposed to hydrate and nourish the skin so it's got a lot of beneficial components going on in here which I really love it also comes in 10 different shades so it comes in porcelain light blush medium golden medium light tan tan medium dark golden dark deep and deeper and it is already available for purchase if you're curious and then what's also really cool is on each of the boxes you'll find the color and then it has a little sticker there that kind of shows you and gives you an idea of what the color looks like they also came out with two brushes foundation and a concealer brush this is their skin perfecting foundation brush it looks like this very similar to the artist oval 10 brush I of course had high hopes for this brush and it's actually really really soft which I really love it's made of synthetic fibers it's cruelty free and it's ideal for creams powders bronzers for the face and the body and they also came out with a skin perfecting concealer brush this one is $22 it's ideal for concealer and contour it's also synthetic fibers and it's also cruelty free which is really good so, so all of these products are available at purecosmetics.com if they're available anywhere else I'll leave the links down below for you guys so you guys can get to them a lot easier all right so that's gonna be it for the specs of the foundation I am actually wearing it right now because I'm doing the intro after I put it on my face and I did try out both of the brushes too so if you guys want to see how how that goes then just keep watching all right so the color that I'm gonna use is golden medium I feel like that would probably match me the best this is what that shade looks like so it has little stickers on it to tell you kind of what the shade looks like right there so that's convenient and then I'm also gonna be applying it with the skin perfecting foundation brush which looks really cool it looks a little bit too light for me wow what's the next color up I feel like golden medium is gonna be a little bit too light for me light tan might work a lot better okay so I think I'm gonna go with light tan instead it seems like it would match me a little bit better I did just put on some self tanner last night and I'm gonna get a little bit darker so I think this would be the better choice for me I'm just gonna pop some onto the back of my hand like so so this is the consistency of it, by the way. It's not super duper runny, but it's not moussey. It's running, you can see that it's running a little bit, but it's not super duper liquidy. It's kind of like a happy medium between a runny foundation and a creamy foundation, which is really nice. So I already primed my face and color corrected just to save some time. So now what we're gonna do is just dot this on the face. Oh gosh, that looks a little bit dark, but maybe I should have gone with the medium. Okay, so we're just gonna dot this on the face and then I'll go in with the brush to blend it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with the brush. I'll start off with the neck first. Ooh, this brush is nice. Like it, I like it. Oh yes, I really love this brush. The coverage is really nice too of this foundation. It's kind of like a medium to full coverage, but we'll check in a little bit to see if it's buildable. All 
All right, so this is what our skin is looking like after one coat of the foundation. It looks really good. It feels very hydrating on the face. It doesn't feel like it's a drying foundation at all. And you can tell that it is a medium to full coverage, not exactly full coverage, but we are gonna try to build it up in a second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to build it up a little bit, just in the areas where I have some freckleage going on. And just so we can see if it's buildable. All right, so here is the foundation built up just a little bit. I only built up the areas where I have some freckles. So that's what that looks like. I feel like it built up really nicely. It didn't crumble or anything. It didn't, um, but it definitely built up really nicely. So now I wanna try out the concealer brush. This is the, this is the Skin Perfecting Concealer Brush. It looks like this. It looks very similar to the Artist Oval 7 brush, and I absolutely love that brush, so I have high hopes for this one. So this one right here is the Artist Oval 7, and this right here is the Pure Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Concealer Brush. So they look very similar. This one looks just a tad bit larger, but I do have high hopes for it because I love this brush so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some concealer, and then we'll go and try and blend it out with that brush. Might as well just highlight it while we're at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend this out. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer over top that. This one right here is just kind of like my correcting concealer and highlighting concealer. So we'll try to blend this out and see how it works. Okay, okay, blending out nicely. So far, no issues. <laughs> no issues. It's not um, moving the foundation underneath, which is nice. That's what I was a little bit concerned about, but it's not moving it, so it's just blending out what's on top. Blended that out really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add a different concealer just to brighten my under eyes a little bit more and give myself a little bit more coverage. Really, so I actually really like the brush. It blended everything out really nicely. It didn't pick up the foundation or move the foundation as I was blending out the concealer. It just blended everything out that was over top, over top, and not move anything else underneath, which is really nice. So yeah, this is bomb. All right, so now that we have our foundation and our concealer on, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I finished off the rest of my makeup. So now I'm just going to go about the rest of my day and I will come back later on in the day to let you guys know my final thoughts. Right now it is, it's 10.24 a.m. So I'll come back at the end of the day and let you guys know my final thoughts on the foundation. Hey guys. Okay, so we're back for our final thoughts on the foundation. I did have to cut my day a little bit short because I have some other things to do later and I won't have time to finish the video. So right now it is four, oh, hello. 4.56 in the afternoon, if you guys can see that. on the foundation around like 10.30. So the foundation has been on for a good amount of time. It's been about six and a half hours. So I feel like that's a good amount of time to get a feel of how foundation is going to work. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Ooh, glitter, glitter everywhere. It's for my eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, so, oh wow. Dang girl, okay. So the foundation actually held up really well. The only thing is I do see some creasing right here, but you guys know if you guys have watched any foundation review that I've ever done, I always have creasing here by the end of the day. Doesn't matter what foundation I use, that always happens, I smile a lot. <laughs> so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, as far as the rest of my face, everything looks really good. Like I don't even feel like I have to powder at all, which is crazy. Sometimes by the end of the day, I'll get a little bit oily here, but I'm not looking like a grease ball right there. So that's a plus. And yeah, everything looks really, really good. And I took a nap. I took a nap today, which is a rare thing for me, but I took a nap today and the foundation still looks really good. I feel like it looks even better than when I put it on, which is crazy. So yeah, even though I only had the foundation on for six and a half hours and it says it's supposed to be a 12 hour foundation, I feel like the foundation did really good for getting halfway there. So, so yeah, thumbs up on this foundation. All right, so that's gonna be it for this review. I really hope this was helpful for you guys in deciding on whether you want to try this foundation out or not I really love it I'm definitely gonna put this in rotation I love the finish of it I feel like it looks really nice it's not a matte finish but it's not super dewy it's kind of like a happy medium which is nice um, especially during this time of year it's colder outside you def I definitely love a foundation that's finished is kind of like a happy medium between matte and dewy so yeah so this is definitely going into rotation I do really love it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more foundation reviews on my channel also subscribe to 
if you're new, hey girl, hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we don't lose each other. And yeah, follow me on my social medias too if you have Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter. I'll leave the links down below for you guys. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video.